In the days gone by, there was war. The first in the world where gods fought against gods, tormenting both the mortal and divine planes. But now, you may wonder what caused such a conflict. Well, gather round, and I'll tell you of the woman who was burned thrice, and thrice more did she rise. So much that they ignited a war against the Aesir. The Vanir besieged Asgard. They destroyed the walls and fought in the fields, bringing destruction wherever they went. The war lasted for an unknown period of time, with both sides gaining and losing the upper hand. Then, finally, the two sides became mindful of their fighting and decided to call a truce. To make sure neither side would reignite the war, they each exchanged hostages. The Aesir received Freya and Freyr, along with their father Nijord. The Vanir received Hynir, and strangely enough, Mimir, who somehow joined the Aesir after Odin's trip to the well. Nijord, along with his children, lived peacefully in Asgard. Unfortunately, it was different for Hynir and Mimir. The Vanir chose both of these Aesir gods because of their unparalleled wisdom. Hynir was made chief of Vanaheim, as he would answer whichever question the Vanir provided. But then, the Vanir took notice that whenever Mimir wasn't present, Hynir would simply say, No, let others give their advice. It was not long before they realized Hynir wasn't wise at all, and Mimir was the only wise one. Feeling cheated, the Vanir decapitated Mimir and discarded the body. They then sent the head back to Odin, who, ironically, proved more irritated than enraged. He took the head, smeared it in herbs, and sang incantations over it. The head came back to life, and would continue to grant open wisdom in times of need. It was then that a second truce was forged. All the gods took a vat and each spat within. From their saliva came a new god called Kavasir, the wisest of all beings. From there, the new god traveled the realms, providing instructions to all who needed him. Unfortunately for Kavasir, he would soon have an encounter with two dwarves, the subject of my next myth. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you'd like to stay up to date, press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.